right guys what is up welcome your faces back to another outriders video fellas today we're gonna be going over the inferno seed legendary rifle so this thing is a burst and this thing is pretty disgusting so if you look at the tier 3 mod right this thing does have brain eater which is pretty cool but if you look at the tier 3 mod which is gonna be the wrath of malloc uh basically every time we get critical hits uh, we're gonna cause an explosion do over like 130,000 damage and this thing is going to kind of shred uh now if you couldn't already tell this is actually a voiceover uh i kind of fucked up and I, I i didn't record my audio so i'm just gonna do a bit of a voiceover uh for part of this and then y'all are gonna like uh, see some of the gameplay and we're gonna be uh shredding it out so right now we're going over uh the build that we got here which is the cosmic winner technomancer build i did make a video on it which will be linked at the end um of the video in the end screen uh just showing everything but uh yeah our, Infer our inferno seed uh, honestly, after using this thing, it's pretty insane. Here's our skill tree, as you know. Look at it. We got the assault master stuff. Obviously, we got a lot of assault, uh, like assault perks and all that good jazz because we're using an assault rifle. We're on the Technomancer. Uh, obviously, we're gonna be using blighter rounds, stuff like that. But you're gonna see that this thing, for the most part, honestly, might not like this dude. Uh, just watch the damage that this thing is gonna do, and just how casually we're gonna like just, just like literally just destroy everything. Like we're gonna do like a lot of casual just one bursting like <laughs> see that rifleman he got instantly dead now wait till we go fight some of the captains and stuff like that it's gonna be pretty nice and stuff uh now i will say that right now this thing is only at level 49 it's not quite at level 50 and it's still putting in this work i am not for uh for showcases uh i'm not uh doing uh like highest uh tier difficulty expeditions at the moment i don't want to like I figured that we could probably do like we could do those types of videos later on whenever we go to do like one weapon only expeditions uh, on the hard like on challenge tier 15 and stuff like that. But for the uh, showcases, man, I just want to show what the weapon can do, like show its mods and stuff like that. I mean, you're let I me mean, look at it, dude. Uh, it's kind of fucking gross. So we're just like casually out here, chilling, bulling, putting that work, destroying, and uh, yeah, uh, this thing is very very disgusting uh, as you're seeing. Also, guys, we do have a couple other showcases coming out today, uh, that being the Disintegrator and the, the, actually, I'll leave the the third one a bit of a surprise. It's a pretty cool gun, though. It's an SMG, I'll say that much. Uh, and, yeah, I mean, look at, I mean, look at this thing, dude. It, it is a burst rifle, which I know some people might not like, but, I mean, look, I mean, you saw how fast we cleared that room. Yeah, well, I mean, we, we completely cleared that room with a quickness. Honestly... So far, I would say my favorite uh, legendaries in this game have definitely been uh, the Imploder, the Roaring Umbra, just because the Roaring Umbra has just been like my workhorse weapon I've used for so many, uh, uh, for like the higher uh, expeditions and just like overall, I just use that thing as a workhorse weapon. Honestly, this Inferno Seed is pretty good. And then I also got the Double Jinx, I think that's what it's called. Um, which is another legendary double gun. I haven't used it yet, but I will be doing a showcase video on that gun later on. Uh, and I've heard a lot of good things. I've heard that it's really good for pyromancers, so we'll see about that, you know what I'm saying. Uh, but overall, dude, I would say that the legendaries in this game definitely feel really, really strong. Uh, that might be because of their mods and stuff like that, but I mean, regardless, dude, it's, it, it's nice, dude, how strong these things are. Honestly, the fact that you can dismantle legendaries for their mods and put them on under weapons is gonna add a lot more replayability to this game it's just gonna overall be really good it's overall really healthy for it uh but you're seeing right here that what like we're not to look at this thing now i'm gonna uh, i want y'all to see this one part whenever we open the door and we just like have like all those uh cutthroats those cat and like those three uh elite enemies that spawn in here whenever we open this door uh y'all are gonna see just how fast we make quick work of them it's pretty fucking disgusting Honestly, it's insane. I really <laughs> look. Just watch. Just watch me, bro. I'm just, <laughs> just gonna melt them all. Like, yes, the Inferno, the Wrath of Malloc is honestly a beautiful mod, bro. I mean, look at the AOE damage we're able to just output like this. I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're cryoing us, but like, bro, they they, they can't they, they can't do anything because we're just gonna kill them way too quick. Just just they're just, they're just not built for it. You can cry on me all you want, but like, look, I mean, they're just not built for it. <laughs> I mean, just. Carnage just that just tapped easily just tapped uh, Anyways though guys, I feel like I'm gonna go ahead in the commentary right there and let the gameplay play out and uh, Yeah, hope y'all did enjoy the video if you guys did enjoy the video Make sure to drop your low that like button subscribe if you are new We do post daily content on the channel So if you like daily outriders daily content stuff like that subscription is greatly appreciated and we're also on the road to 10,000 subscribers 
Try and hit that by the end of the year. So, you know what I'm saying? Subscription is free. All the good jazz. Anyways, though, hope y'all enjoyed the video. My name's Cree. We'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.